Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Cambio la gana y para porque han dado todo el día para que se Entonces, por eso. Okay, let me see. In some minute, we are going to be ready. We need to just wait for the rest of the class. Welcome back. We are so close to finish uh, with number three and to finish module one. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Teacher, yo aún no he llegado a mi casa, pero nada más ya me conecto ya normal. Ok, muy bien.
Okay, welcome. Uh, let me see what we are going to do now. Well, I guess first of all, I need to check out the attendance. As soon as we start working, I forgot to do it. For that reason, I guess it's going to be better to do it now. Creo que hoy voy a pasar la lista primero. Para dar inicio. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, let me share the topic. Okay, this is the topic for today. How to use question with what time? Como usar preguntas usando what time? A que horas? This is class number 13. Welcome back. It's a pleasure to see you again. And we are going to start now. But first of all, let me check out the attendance. Okay, let me see Anna Victoria. He's on the road, I guess. Driving, he's driving. Andres? He's connecting, Andres is connecting now. Angel Giovanni? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Um, Thank you. Brenda Natalie. Brenda Natalie. It's not here now. Okay. Um, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Diana. Present teacher. Erica Veronica. Present teacher. Evelyn Karina. Thank you, teacher. Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ismael Ernesto. Present teacher. Jose Alejandro. Hi, present teacher. Okay, um, Julia Yanet. Julia Yanet. Katia Maria. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Armando. Mar 
Marvin. Present teacher. My Elizabeth? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Michael? It's not here. Rosalie? Present teacher. Sandra David? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Sonia? Present teacher. Okay, before uh, we start with the new topic, we are going to make a, a little review. Teacher. Hola. Hi. Hello. Hola. Ana Victoria. Sí, perdón, tenía problemas con el micrófono. Okay, don't Pero worry. Ya estoy aquí. Don't worry, don't worry. Hola, teacher. Yo acabo de entrar. Soy Leonardo. Oh, Andrés. Sí. Leonardo. Okay, Andrés. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay, let us remember what we started yesterday. Somebody wants to tell me what you remember about. And give me some example. Let me know what you know about about the topic we studied yesterday. What do you remember? Teacher, hablamos de questions. Oh, we talk uh, question. Okay. Um, um, present simple, simple present. Mm. Using YH. Okay, W W H W H. Okay. Okay, thank you, somebody else. Sí, alguien más. De los deportes también, teacher. Okay. Tell me. De cuáles eh, deportes llevaban tú, los que se okay. utiliza play, okay. y los que se utiliza go. La clasificación, right? Clasificación. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's start with this first activity. As a classmate, the exact time he or she does some activities at work. How can you ask question related with time?
In the previous one, I show you the way how we can start questions. What time do you arrive you, to your office, for example? But remember the exact time he or she does some activities at work. Tom. A special activity that you perform in your job. For example, you can say, okay, I arrive uh, to my work at eight o'clock. Maybe somebody at a nine or 10, I don't know. At nine o'clock, I had to uh, write a report, for example, or check emails or make some uh, phone call. Okay, tell me. Give me an example related with that. It is something like when we talk about the daily routine, but in this case, we are talking about your job. What activities you perform and tell me the time. No idea about this activity? Ok, lo que necesitamos es mencionar algunas actividades que hacemos en nuestro trabajo mencionando la hora, la hora en que la realizamos. Give me an example. Hello, teacher. Hello, Armando. Um, take a coffee at... Uh, 3 uh, p.m. o'clock. Okay. What else, somebody else? Again, Mas? I, eh, ¿cómo se dice envío? I send. I, uh, I send email in the cumpleañeros. ¿Cómo se dice cumpleañeros? Ok, you, you send, ¿cómo sería en español? Redígamelo, por favor. En español sería a, a las nueve, entre nueve y diez, yo envío los mensajes a todos los clientes cumpleañeros del día. Okay, at nine o'clock, I send email of congratulations to all the people that is celebrating birthday in the specific date. Okay. Okay, exactly. It's good. What else? Alguien más? Hi, teacher. Hello, tell me. Uh, I checked the temp temperature at 8 o'clock in my work. Okay, Tem temperature, temperature. 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 Okay. okay thank you. Okay, somebody else. 
Somebody else tell me. Uh, 7 a.m. I cheat that every time is in order. Okay. A las 7 de la mañana, este, me dijo que todo está en orden. Okay, thank you, somebody else. Come on, you can do it. Okay, tell me, so Mario. No, okay. Um, in the morning. At nine o'clock, I take a, a break. Also, at three three o'clock p.m. Oh, okay. What else? Come on. At one p.m. lunch. At one p.m. I take lunch. Okay. At eight o'clock in the morning, review documents and el, ¿cómo se dice lotes fabricados, manufacturing bag. Talking about Lo, lotes fabricados. Ajá, lotes fabricados. O oh, ajá. Manufac como manufacturado. It's like a, manufacturing. A fin, fin, finish, finish product? Finish product. Okay, we, we are going to call it that way now, but uh, in the next module, you are going to use a, a technical uh, name for, for all those stuff. Okay, what else? Okay, in order to talk about time, uh, we are going to study how to say the time. I'm going to show you the presentation here. If I ask you what time is it now, how can you tell me? How can you tell me the time? What time is it now? Chum. When I ask a question, what time is it now? Que hora es? Que hora es? <clears throat> Tell me the time. Okay, time. Uh, is what we use a clock to measure. Information about time tell us the duration of event and when they occur and which uh, event happened before which other. Eso sería el concepto de tiempo. Usamos un reloj para medirlo, es la información de tiempo que nos dice la duración de un evento, cuando ocurre. Y qué evento ha sucedido antes, ok. Como la canción, teacher. <laughs> like the sun. Time Which of one? the time. Which one? The one that I share with you or another one? Okay, there are two common ways of telling the time. Hay dos formas comunes 
de cómo decir la hora. Ok, say the hour first and then the minutes. Hour plus minutes. Decir la hora, la hora primero y después los minutos. Horas más minutos. For example, uh, right here we have it, it's uh, 6.25. It's the common way we use it. It's 8.05. 8.05. In this case, number zero, uh, we say O. Oh. The series is said like uh, the letter O. Right here is 9-11. 9-11 is 2-34. Okay, somebody wants to read it? Tell me. Alguien me lee las horas, por favor? Todas, teacher. Yes. Okay. It's it's six twenty five. It's eight oh, zero five. Um, it's nine eleven. It's two thirty four. Okay. Diana. Okay. X625. X805. Then or is side like the letter is nine eleven. It's 234. 234. 234. Okay. Uh, teacher. Hello. Quería informarle. Que este, eh, Natalie me pidió favor que le no tenía cómo comunicarse ahorita porque tiene enfermo a niña ahorita y no hay nadie que le ayude con el niño ahorita. Ok, hold on, hold on. Let me check up the name. Mm -hmm. Repeat the name, please. Repeat the Brenda. name. Natalie. Brenda, Natalie. Brenda, 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 Natalie, ok. Sí. Okay, the baby is six now. Okay, the baby is six. Okay. The baby is six. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Angel? It's 625. It's 805. It's 911. It's 234. Evelyn Karina It is 25 it is or 5 it night 11 it 24 Okay Rosalie? It's 6.25. It's 8.05. It's 9.11. It's 2.04. 2.34. Okay, remember, say the hour first and then the minutes. Esta es la primera manera de decir, así como nosotros en español. But let, let us see the next way. Is this one? Say the minutes first, and then the hours. Minutes uh, plus pass, or could be two plus the hour. Como se ejemplifica esto? For example, 
we said for minutes one to thirty we use pass. Para los minutos del uno al treinta nosotros decimos pass after the minute. Después de, de los minutos. For minute uh, thirty one to fifty nine we use two after the minute. And I got an example here. It is 25. It is right here, it said 25, but it's not. Yeah, okay, okay. It is 25 to 3. Aquí lo que, lo que conté es lo que hace falta para las tres. Ya? Yeah? Okay, the next one said it's 20 past 11. Aquí menciono primero siempre los minutos. 20 past 11. 20 pasado de las 11. Ojo con lo que sigue. When it is 15 minutes past, the hour we normally say a quarter past. For example, is a quarter past 7. Cuando son 15 minutos, usamos quarter. When it is 15 minutes before the hour... Cuando son 15 minutos antes de la hora, we normally say, normalmente decimos, a quarter to, for example, a quarter to one. En este caso sería un cuarto para las, para la una, ¿cierto? Okay, and the last concept that I have here is that when it is 30 minutes past, the hour we normally say half past, is in that way. For example, uh, it's half past three, but we can also say it's three thirty. Esta parte sí quiero que me la comprendan. Cuando hay treinta minutos, podemos decir media hora después de las tres. En este caso, half es media, half. And also we can use it like a half orange. Como la media naranja también se puede usar half. Half es la mitad de... Ok. Ok, revíselo y pregunte por favor, porque eso me interesa que lo aprenda. Chami. Chami. Teacher, one question. Okay, uh, tell, tell me the question. Eh, ¿Y cuál es la más usada normalmente? Mm, all depend. All depend on the, in the area. Of, in the United States, uh, uh, I have used bosses uh, then. Dentro de los Estados Unidos he usado ambas. Ahí dependerá quizás de... Posiblemente podría ser la región... Y la hora militar solo cambian la, los números. Ah, it's that, that is, is, is different. Because we, we continue counting, continuamos contando normal. Uh, for example, uh, si tenemos las 13 horas, sometimes they call it las 1300. They can use it that way too. No sé si, si ellos tienen como dos formatos. Nosotros decimos a las 13 horas, a las 14 horas, a las 15 horas, pero ellos le aumentan como dos ceros. A la, a la, por ejemplo, dicen a que si fuese a las 15 horas, a las 1500. Pero realmente, eh, bueno, ellos tienen unos códigos ahí medio raros. Lo que normalmente se conoce es cuando se usa eh, de 24 horas que va contada. Que en vez de pasar de las 12 a la 1, eh, dice las 13 horas, las 14 horas. ¿Me doy a entender? Claro, claro. Yes, sí, es, más, okay. es más complicado que el español. Yeah, que complicated. El español. They use it as, Thank you. as a code. Ellos lo usan como código. Para que no entiendan a qué hora va a pasar o van a hacer alguna maniobra militar.
Okay, no question related with these examples. Okay, listen here, use a clock only in the full hours. We use a clock when there are no minutes. Vamos a usar la palabra o clock cuando no hayan minutos o horas exactas. We use a clock when there are no minutes. For example, it's nine o'clock. Ahí no hay minutos, entonces por eso se le llama así, o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. Okay. Todas las horas exactas son o'clock. For two, there are four expressions in English. In this case, uh, we have the first one said 12 o'clock. Midday. Uh, also, we can say midnight, all depend on the, in, the, in the moment that we are going to mention. And midday also is equal to say noon. Desde que horas comienza la M en las 12, por ejemplo? Tell me. Well. At midnight. At midnight, right? Okay. Um, when we are going to say the midday or noon? When it's near of the how do you say madrugal? But, but in this case, uh, mediodía. Um, that is noon. Until uh, 11.59, hasta las, las 11.59 se mantiene AM. As soon as we got 12, we say PM. Y comienza el PM. Okay, asking for the time. Let us see what's happened here. Okay, the common question for, uh, we used to ask for the time. Right now, R, okay, take a look at this. What time is it? Oh, what is time? We can use bosses then, podemos usar ambas. What time is it or what is the time? You can write it down if you want. Okay, I can ask you, uh, for example, right now, I can ask you, what time is it? What time is it? Somebody wants to tell me? What time is it now? Tell me. Or I can say, what is the time? What is the time? What is the time now? Tell me.
Hello, give me an answer, please. It's eight. Eight for forty-four. Okay, forty-four. In a different way, how can you tell me the time? Forty forty past eight. Forty four past eight, okay. At the moment that switch into forty five, you can say a quarter to nine. A quarter to nine. Okay, remember we have two different ways. What time is it and what is the time? We can use both sustain. Okay, hold on. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What happened here? Okay, a more polite way to ask the time, especially from a stranger, is una forma más eh, cortés de preguntar la hora, especialmente a una persona extranjera, es. Could you tell me the time, please? Repita. Could you tell me? Could you tell no. me? Could. Could. Could you tell me the Could. time, please? Listen. Could. Could. Could you tell me? Could you, could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time, the time, please? Again. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? The time, please. The time, please. The time, please. Okay, try to keep in mind. Que no se les olvide. Okay, and how we are going to give the time? Como vamos a dar la hora? Okay. Uh, we use it. Uh, we use it is or it's to respond to question that ask for the time right now. Siempre vamos a usar it. If half past five. Media hora después de las cinco. Uh, it's 10 to 12. 10 a las. Sí, 10 a las. 12. A las 12. Okay. Okay. Let us see what else we have. Okay, we use the structure at plus time. Usamos la estructura, la preposición at más eh, la hora. When given the time of a specific event. Para dar la hora de un evento específico. Por ejemplo, the bus arrives at midday. The bus arrives at midday. That means there is uh, 12. Uh, another situation could be the concert begin at 10 o'clock. The concert begin at uh, 10 o'clock. And the last one, the flight leaves at a quarter to two. Oh, con esas horas. Véalo aquí. Un cuarto a las dos. Instead of say 100.5. In our country, you can say in that way, but out of the country, maybe you can find someone that can use in, uh, those expressions. But we need to know exactly uh, both of them. Okay, alguien me lee los tres ejemplos, por favor. The bus arrived. At midday, the concert begins at 10 o'clock. The, the flight leaves at a quarter to two. Thank you. Somebody else wants to do it. Somebody else? The bus arrives at midnight. The concert begins at 10 o'clock and the flight leaves at quarter to two. Five, seven, 
equated to two. Okay. Let me move forward. We use the structure at, we already mentioned this. Yes, okay, let me see to this one. Okay, we have AM and PM. AM versus PM. We don't normally use the uh, 24 hour clock in English. Ojo para quien me preguntó eh, la hora militar. Dice, we don't normally use the 24 hour clock in English. ¿Qué dice ahí? Usamos normalmente las 24 horas en inglés. We don't, we don't normally. No usamos, no usamos <laughs> normalmente. Uh -huh. Okay, for example. Uh, no usamos. Okay, three o'clock in the morning. We say three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Siempre tenemos que usar esa palabra para denotar la diferencia entre una, entre un tiempo y otro, ¿no? Okay. okay. Morning is uh, 6 a.m. Afternoon, 1 p.m. Evening, uh, 7 p.m. And night, 11 p.m. We use a.m. for the morning, p.m. for the afternoon and at night. Okay, question. Somebody want to ask a question, maybe? Shall we? Now question. AM also uh, means? No question. Okay. What is the meaning of AM? Do you know what is that? ¿Qué significa AM? Tell me. Antes meridiano. Ah, okay. Antes del meridiano, ¿sí? And then we use it before noon. And, and we can use it before noon too. And PM also, PM post meridian afternoon. Use this expression uh, only with the formal way of telling the time or on this. Example, 3.15 a.m. is not usually to use a.m. and p.m. with past o tú. Cuando se usa, eh, si, si fuese 20 past 4 o 20 to 4, we, we, don't, we don't use uh, PM or AM when we use it now. Cuando usamos eh, es, esta forma, no, no vamos a mencionar. Bueno, aquí no lo vamos a mirar. No podemos reproducir videos. Okay, let us make a practice in order that you understand better. Okay, let me show you this one. Right here is uh, in a different perspective. Okay, take a look, take a look at the picture that I have there. I already explained you this. Okay, take a look at this. And imagine that the, there is a line in this way. Imagine que hay una línea aquí partiendo esto en dos partes. Okay, entonces decimos, si por ejemplo esta aguja estuviese acá, decimos, it's five past, depende la, la hora, it's 10 past, it's a quarter past, it's 20 past, it's 25 past, this is the half, we say past. Okay, in this, in this, in the left side, in the lado izquierdo, 
En el lado izquierdo es 252, 25A, y se menciona la hora siguiente. 22, uh, ¿por qué 20? Porque lo he contado para acá, faltan 20, aquí serían 25. A quarter 2, it's 10 to, or it's 5 to. Si vamos a usar esa estructura, ok. So let us see the example. It's 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. It's 5 past 2. Depende de cómo voy a ir moviendo la agujita ahí. Ok, I need a volunteer who wants to read it. This part, this part only. Un voluntario que me lea, por favor, de las 2 a las 2.55. Tell me. <clears throat> It's five to three. It, it, it is five. Okay, it is two o'clock. You start right here. It is two o'clock. It is five past two. Okay, continue. It's ten past two. Okay. Continue, continue. It's a quarter past two. Okay, next. It's twenty past two. Okay, it's twenty past two. Continue. It's twenty five past two. Okay, next. It's half past two. Okay, next, please. It's 25 to 3. Okay. It's, it's 23. Only one. Only one. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. It's quarter, two, three. Okay, next. It's ten to three. Okay, next, please. It, it's five to three. Okay, what I need that you take a look in this part is, lo que necesito que denotemos es que del 12 al 6 voy a usar paz, los minutos. Digo el nombre de la cantidad de minutos y luego digo paz y menciono que, por ejemplo, five, paz, si estuviese en este caso esta aguja acá, sería paz two, cinco después de las dos. En cambio, del seis hasta el doce, aquí vamos a usar two, veinticinco para, pero voy contabilizando desde aquí para acá. Okay. Para la siguiente sería 3. Para la siguiente hora, sí. A ver, los que no se sabían la hora con agujitas, por ahí está la idea. Creo que en algunos no se sabían las horas así, solo en... Como ahí la tiene el teléfono, dice. Y como hoy eh, raramente las personas usan reloj, ya no casi nadie usa reloj. Solo los que andamos trabajando y para andar ahí que no vemos el teléfono, sí podemos usar reloj. Pero en cambio los demás, cuando están viendo el teléfono, ah, no, está tiktokeando. Prohibido el teléfono. 
Okay, and what already mentioned, we use at plus time when we given the time of a specific event. For example, the classes are at nine o'clock. Vamos a usar at más la hora cuando estamos dando eh, el tiempo de un evento específico. La clase comienza at nine o'clock. The flight leaves at ten to three. El vuelo sale, sí, a las tres y diez. We use it is or it's to answer a question that asks for the time right now. For example, say, what time is it? It's half past four. What's the time? It's 20 to five. And that way you are going to use it. Okay, question? Preguntas, preguntas? No? Yo creo que ya se la saben, por eso no pregunta. Okay, this is uh, extra information. We already talked about this. There are two common ways of telling the time. And I already mentioned it. Let me let me try to give you some uh, exercises related with this because I guess it's gonna be better if you practice. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to do it. Let me show you this in order we can practice. Um, let me see what else I can do. Two foot bigger. Let me see. Okay. Okay, nine o'clock. We already have it there. I'm going to move a little bit. Okay. Three, okay, tell me, Mayra, uh, which one? Uh, imagine this is A, B, or C. Which one is the right one? ¿Cuál es el correcto de lo, de lo que dicen las letras? One, two, or three? Only just give me a number. One. Number one, okay, let us see. Si no es el correcto, se cae al agua. Ah, okay, okay, bingo, Diana. Diana, are you there? Diana, one, two, or three. Okay. Okay. Yes. One. Number one? Yes. Okay. What uh 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 what happened there? What happened there? ¿Qué pasó ahí? <laughs> ¿Qué pasó ahí? Okay, okay. Natalie already mentioned, uh, okay, Myra, I'm sorry, Myra, Myra already mentioned this number one, but in this case, it's sort of different. We need to, to be careful about it. Okay, let us start over again. Three, okay, okay, it's three o'clock. Diana, where is three o'clock? One, two, or three. One, two, or three. One. One, two, three. Number? Number one. One? One. Okay, um, let me see. Angel, tell me. One, two, or three. Uh, three. Three. Okay, let us see. Okay, bingo, 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 bingo. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos Limas. One, two, or three. Three. You say three. Let us see. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see, Evelyn. Evelyn, are you there? One. One. You say number one? 
Number one. Okay, what is the four? Okay. Okay, let me choose someone else. Uh, Marvin? One, two, or four? Two. One, two, or three, I'm sorry. No four. Two. Number two? Yes. Uh, um, ¿Qué pasó ahí, Marvin? Marvin, Marvin. Oh, okay, you are going to start. You are going to start again, Marvin. Tell me, three o'clock. Three. Okay, you say this. Okay, thank you. Rosalie, Rosalie. Number, number one. Number one. Okay. Julia, Janet, a quarter to four. One, two, or three. Uh, a quarter to four. Um, a quarter to four. Which picture is the right one? One. Okay, you say this one? No, that's wrong. Okay, um, let me see. Jose Alejandro. Okay, teacher. Nine o'clock. One, two, or three. Uh, sería número uno. Okay, let me see. Uh, number one. Okay, it's done. It's done. Don't worry. Oh. ¿Cuál es el eh, ¿Cuál por las, por las ocho? Evelyn, Evelyn, the term one, two, three. Number three. Which one? Three. Three, okay, let me see, what is the part of three? Okay, somebody else, please. Number three. Number three? Half past yeah. seven. Ok, ok, que rapidito, por favor, si no se nos ahoga el cliente. Number one. Okay, number one, you say number one. What about this one? Number two, three, number three. Three or two, tell me. Three. Number two. Number three. Two, three. Number three. Number two. Number two. Pass, 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 five. Pass, five. Number three, teacher. Number three. Siguen diciendo cuál. Number two. Quince okay. pasada a las cinco. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this one. Mire, ¿cuál era el correcto? Decía pass. Ten to five. Ten to five. Number? Number three. Number three, okay. Okay, uh, half past twelve. Half past twelve. Number two. Number two. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Okay. What is the chance? What is the chance? Number one. Number one. Number one. Five to twelve. 
5 to 12. Number one. Number one. Number one. Okay, six o'clock. Six o'clock. Number two. Number two. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Despierta, despierta, despierta. Okay, ten past eight. Ten past eight. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number three. Okay, twenty to four. Number two. Twenty to four. Number three. Number three. Number two. Really? 20 to 4. Two. Two. Okay. Number two. Did you say number? Number three. 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 Venus and Oscar, Venus and Oscar, Okay, twenty five to ten. Number two. Number two. Number two. Okay. It's five past. We are supposed to finish. Okay, five past six. Five past six. Number two. And we are supposed to be the winners of this game. Twenty past two. Number three. Okay. Say number, number three. three. And the last one. Five past one. Number three. Number three. Number three. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Okay, let us go back to our material. I invite you to take uh, take a look at the page number. Let me see the number. Okay, well done. Okay, page number 33. In la página 33, you can find out something that I need. Okay, let me see if I share with you. Okay, we have Mrs. Robles agenda. Okay, try to read, try to read by yourself. Tratemos de leer esta agenda, por favor, calladitos. Hagámosle, por favor. I'm going to give you two minutes in order to do that, and you are going to recognize all the words.
Okay, let her read it. Um, who, who wants to start reading? The query of the second meeting with the marketing department. Okay, this is a Mr. Robert's agenda. Uh, a half after eight, video call with the supervisor from the best company. Nine, workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Twelve, workshops and lunch. The quarter to two, second part of the workshop. Uh, five to six, then tomorrow's special to meet this office. Sorry, and leave. Okay, somebody else wants to do it maybe a different way. Okay. Teacher, teacher, sorry, el micrófono está abierto de José Alejandro y por eso se escucha muy bien. No, José Alejandro, se nos deja el micrófono abierto, José Alejandro, no me oyeron. Recuerden que tenemos que regular el, el sonido ambiente, por favor, colaboremos. Voy a leerlo una vez más. Remember that we have two different ways how to do it, right? Tenemos dos maneras de cómo hacerlo. Okay, in this case, I'm going to say in this way. The quarter of the seven meeting with the marketing department. Uh, I have past eight video call with the supervisor from West Company. Nine, workshop to do research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. 12 workshops, lunch. Uh, a quarter to two, second part of the workshop. Uh, five to six, sent to Maros scheduled to Mrs. Lopez, new secretary, and leave. Okay, tell me, who wants to read it? I need that you practice reading here, uh, Mr. Robles' agenda. Will you do it? For me, please. Um, Monty, wants to 50, it? 50 past seven, meeting with the marketing department. Um, I have uh, eight video call with a supervisor from West Company. Um, Nayo Club workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Twelve o'clock workshop workshops launch. Um, fifty to two second part of the workshop and five to six sent tomorrow's schedule to miss. Lopez, new secretary, and live. Okay. Could, could you repeat again the uh, 830, por favor? Podría repetirme lo como lo dijo. Ah, uh, 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 eight. <laughs> okay, tell me, tell me. Okay, all the. Uh, all eight video call with the, no, the no, supervisor. No, no, no. Just read the numbers. Okay. Leame los números. Yeah. ¿Cómo lo hice o, o cómo está ahorita? No, the way that you did the first time. La forma como lo hizo la primera vez. Okay. I remember. Uh, all eight. Okay, only you are missing a word. A half past eight. A half past eight. Sí, media hora. Okay. Después de las ocho. That's it. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to read it? ¿Alguien más quiere leerlo? Sí. Hi, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Um, and in quarter past seven, meeting with the marketing department, 
uh, uh, house pass eight video video call with the supervisor from Wet's company at night o'clock workshop the to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process uh, mid midday workshop lunch uh, Mm, quarter to two, quarter to two, second part of the workshop, and five to six, send tomorrow, schedule to Mrs. Lopez, new secretary, and leave. Okay, thank you. Somebody else could read it in a different way. Remember, we had to two different ways how to say it. The easy one, the easy one, the one that is uh, the same like that we do it in Spanish. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. A las 7.15 se reúne. But, but in English, but in English, not in Spanish. Um, same. Quarter, but in, in another way, in another way. The Seven fifteen. Okay, continue, continue. Seven fifteen meeting with the marketing department. Eight. Eight video, video call with the supervisor from web company and nine workshop to the research and development department to the improve the manufacturing process. Eleven workshop lunch and one. 45 second part of the workshop 555 and tomorrow school to miss Lopez new secretary and leave Miss Lopez Ok, hay algunas palabras que quiero clarificar. Por, por ejemplo, development, department, department, department. Department. Ok, uh, what else? Uh, schedule, schedule. Schedule. Ske, schedule. La CH hace como una Q y hace schedule. 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 Okay. Any question? No? Eh, ¿Qué quiere decir schedule, por teacher? Ah, uh, send to my official to Mrs. Love, the new secretary, and me, enviar el horario de mañana a la señorita López, y luego salir. Mm -hmm. Esa es la agenda. ¿Qué pasa a las 7.15? What happened there? Us, uh, Se re reúne con el departamento de marketing. Ok, ok, next. Sir. Uh, a question. I have a question. Okay, tell me. Um, puede entonces usar utilizarse um, ambas formas como seven uh, seven fifteen and seven and quarter, but seven seven. Yes, at the beginning um, I show you that there are two different ways how to to use it. Y es necesario aprender las dos formas. Puedo decir seven fifteen o puedo decir a quarter. After seven. Por eso quiero okay, que okay. usen las dos. Eight thirty, ocho treinta o half past eight. Y en el caso de los dos últimos, 
145 or I can say a quarter to two. Una 45, un cuarto a las dos. And the last one. Five to six or 555. Two different ways I can use it too. Okay. Is that correct? Or not? Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay. Okay, next one, uh, activity number three, we will read the information again to answer the questions and compare with somebody else. I'm going to give you five minutes in order to answer these three questions. What time is the video call with the West company? What time does the workshop with the research department start? And number three, say what time does the company close? Okay. Haga una captura, por favor, and I'm going to show you again the, the, the information in order that you can uh, have an answer. And you are going to do it individually, uh, and then you are going to compare with somebody else. But if you want, you can write down uh, the three question, and later on I can show you the material again. Si gusta, escriba las tres preguntas and try to answer it. And later on, I'm going to show you the information. Y luego le muestro la información para ver si estamos en lo correcto. Okay. Try to do it now, please.
Yes. Did you take the screenshot? Yes, teacher. Okay. Did you finish now yet? Finish. Okay, uh, we are going to compare the answers. Let me show you again. Okay, number one, say so what time is the, the video call uh, with the West Company? Do you remember? No? It is half past eight. Okay, it is half past eight. Okay. And number two. Number two, it what time does the workshop with the uh, resale department start? It starts at nine, nine o'clock. Okay. And the last one, number three, what time does the company close? What do you remember about? I'm talking about the last one. What time does the company close? ¿A qué hora cierra la compañía? It's fit to sit. Repeat. It, it fit to sit. Mm. Somebody else? Somebody else? Alguien más? 
Five o'clock. Five o'clock? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Five o'clock. Five? Five. Yes, yes. O'clock. Really? Somebody, Five o'clock. Somebody else? Yes. Alguien más? Is it close? 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 At five to six. Mm. Será. Teacher, no information. Do you want to? Uh, do you want me that I show you the information again? No, no information. Okay, take a look at that. Right here said, send tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez, new secretary, and leave. In theory, in theoría, a qué hora cierra la compañía? It is five to six. Five to six. Pero en el horario normal no aparecería así. Este, eh, A esa hora es que envía ella. Ajá. Six o'clock. Ah, ok. Remember that she needs to turn uh, off the computer. Ella necesita apagar la computadora. Eh, hacer tantas cosas al final no se va a las 5.55 6 o'clock sale a las 6 o'clock ajá ok bingo 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 estoy poniendo que lo hacen 5 minutos <laughs> ok 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 number 4 so how to use question with what time hemos estado usando eso porque vamos a, a, a puntualizar esto del what time a qué horas Okay, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Okay, somebody uh, want to tell me the time now? Me va un chico, Katia no ha hablado hoy, Katia. What time is it, Katia? Hi, teacher. What time is it now? Um, now, I turn seven. PM. Okay, could you could you repeat again, please? What time is it? The, the, the real time. The this at nine thirty seven o'clock or PM. Okay. I don't it's, know. It's one way to say it. Es una forma de decirlo. Ahora díganmelo usando la otra forma. Okay. Um. This. I don't know. Well, uh, la, I. No. Primero los minutos, después two. Ah. Um. This that thirty eight to nine. No. no, 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 los minutos Let's... que hacen falta para las 10, vamos. Ah, ah, ok, sí, es que casi en ese momento como venía para mi casa casi no escuché cómo era. No, ok, ok. Lo That's... siento. Don't worry. Ok, sería entonces. It's a plus one. No, no, no. Uh, we, we are talking about the real time now. Estamos hablando de tiempo real. La hora de, en este momento, la hora. It is 20, 21 to 10. It is 21 to 10. Bingo. Excellent. Okay. 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 Let us see the example that we have here. Uh, what time does the meeting start? Somebody wants to read it. Ok, 
que it start at 11 o'clock. Por ahí ya leímos cuándo voy a usar at. Cuando son horas específicas, dice, what time does the meeting start? It start at 11 o'clock. Okay, next. What time do you arrive at work? What time do you arrive at work? At, puede decir usted at uh, 6 48 a.m. Or you can say about 6 48 a.m. Si quiere decirlo de esta forma. But if not, you can say uh, 12 to 7. At 12 to 7, about 12 to 7. ¿Me comprende? Si es at, es exacto. Si es en, ahí como por las 6.48, dice usted. No es exacto. Ok, the next one says, what time do you end, uh, do employees leave? ¿A qué hora salen los empleados? Usually, around 7 or 7. Early. Usualmente alrededor de las 7 o 7.30. Ok. If I want to read this. Un voluntario que me lea eso, por favor. Ahora sí. Yes. Ok. What? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Only one, only one, no more than one. What? What time is? Okay, alguien más le responde, por favor. So please, somebody else. Answer. It's when, hey. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. Meeting, 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 meeting. Meeting. What time do you arrive at work? Arrive, 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 six, forty, forty eight, and and what time do employees live? Love, leave, 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 usually around seven or seven. Uh, 30. 7.30, 7.30, 7.30. Ok. Ok, ese verbo leave, usted lo puede usar a la hora que sale de su casa. Dice, I leave my house at 7 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, at 5 o'clock. Y si va de regreso, dice, I arrive home, yo llego a mi casa. I arrive home at 8 o'clock. Si son horas exactas. Okay. It, it. okay, remember that uh, if we are going to talk about time, uh, you are going to use what time, what time, a qué horas. Okay, let me move, move forward with this. Okay, number five. Let us work on number five, exercise number five. Okay, complete the question using what time and do or does. Practice the conversation with the classmate. Okay, let us do it. Let us do it. We have five different conversations. Let me see the time that I have. Okay, I guess it's, it's enough time. Complete the question using what time and do or does. And practice the conversation with the classmate. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? It is turn? It is start at 9 a.m. Okay. I'm going to give you like, uh, let me see, seven minutes to do it, six minutes to do it. Okay. Make a screenshot. Uh, Try to, to take an, a screenshot, please. Tome, tome, por favor, un screenshot.
Done? Yes. Okay. Try to resolve. And then we are going to compare. And then we'll compare a ver si están bien.
Okay, let us see what you have. Okay, let us resolve. Let me see what do you have in the, in the problem, for example. Tommy. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What I need to write down there. Genesis equals to be the What time does? Okay, um, what time does? Does and that's it, right? What time does it start? It start at nine a.m. Okay. And maybe somebody is asking uh, himself or herself, why do we use does and not do? Por cuál es la razón por la que usamos does y no do? Um, Porque le está preguntando a una tercera persona. O porque está hablando del lugar. Está hablando de, del lugar. De un reclutamiento de empleados. Del lugar donde se recluta. O del hecho de que se va a reclutar a los empleados. There is a recruitment of new employees. What time does it start? ¿A qué horas comienza el qué? This one, the recruitment. Reclutamiento. Yes. Okay, number two. Number two. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. Okay. Aquí el punto principal es the word meeting. Singular or plural. Singular. Mm, sería, what time do? Okay, because in this case, in this case, we are talking about you. And right here is totally different. We have it. Let me make a drawing here. Let me try to draw something. Mm, it's okay. Aquí, en este caso, for example, no, que no está tan bien la clave de cuándo usar es esto. Aquí en este caso, como es you, entonces, uh, what we are going to say is, what time, what time do, what time do you, and I need to make a drawing here, 
this you has to do with this one, right? Okay. Okay, what about this one, number three? Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. Y ojo lo que dice después del photocopy center. Open. Está hablando del centro de copias. Singular o plural? Singular. Singular. Okay, and then I need to write down what time. Uh -huh. Does. Does. Okay. The photocopy center open. El centro de copias. Abre. It is open at 6 50 a.m. or 10 to 7 a.m. It's up to you the way that you want to say. Okay, now, for Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, bad. Restaurants close here. La palabra restaurant is time plural. ¿Qué voy a usar? Primero, I'm going to use. Uh, what time? What time? What do. time? And then? Do. Do. Mm. What time do restaurant close here? Oh, around uh, 25 after 7 p.m. Okay. And the last one. Amanda. Amanda has to take some report to many departments on Monday. And they open. I'm going to say, what time? Uh -huh. do, do they? ¿Por qué? Porque aquí tengo they. Entonces aquí va a ser do. No sé si me entendieron todos. Hagan, uh, tomen por favor la, la, take the screenshot, please. The teacher. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Hello. Entonces, cuando es plural, usamos do. Y cuando es singular, usamos das. das. Sí. Eso okay. lo, hemos, lo hemos venido viendo. Y ojo con esto, porque estas de este ejercicio sí hay en la plataforma. You are going to have some exercises related with this in the platform. So, take a screenshot in order to keep it and help you in that way. Okay. For tomorrow, at the moment that we are going to make the review, I need the following. Para mañana, al momento que hagamos la, el review, necesito lo siguiente. Okay, hold on. Necesito borrar, si no, no puedo ver. Wow. Segundito. Okay, what I need is activity number six. Activity number six. Uh, you can create your own schedule uh, with all the things that you had to do during the week. Trate de crear eh, como un horario, una agenda de todas las cosas que tiene que hacer durante la semana. Y esa la vamos a compartir mañana, así como la que tenemos de la que les mostré a él. Ok, ahí pueden encontrar en your book on page number 34. En la página 34 de su material está. Ok, let me check out it. Uh, the attendance again. Okay, I got it here. Okay, Anna Victoria. Is that present? Yes, you're present. Okay, Andre. Present teacher. Okay, um, Angel. 
Angel, Brenda, Natalie. Bueno, la que tiene problemas con el Facebook, creo, sí. Pero no se conectó, ¿cierto? Bueno, vamos a dejar un, un comentario aquí pegado por cualquier cosa. Creo que así fue la información que se le enfermó el bebé y se fue para el hospital. Creo que sí me dijeron, ¿cierto? Sí, algo así. Bueno. No tenía que le cuidar el bebé. Bueno, así lo vamos a dejar por ahí el concepto. Sí. Ok, thank you. Okay, Carlos, is there? Present teacher. Okay, uh, Diana. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Erika. Present teacher. Ahora no habló Erika, ahora no habló Erika, se me escondió. Evelyn, Karina. Present teacher. Okay, um, Ingrid. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Ismael. Present teacher. I said, okay. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Patia. Present teacher. Luis Armando. Marvin. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Mayra. Present teacher. Michael. Rosalie. Present teacher. Sandra. And Sophia. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, let me see. According to my list, 10 minutes uh, correspond to Katia Maria. Yeah, present you. teacher. Sorry, teacher. Present. Sorry, okay. teacher. Okay. Present. Okay. No escuché su. Okay. No escuché mi nombre, perdón. Angel. And Present teacher, sorry. Okay, it's there, it's there. Okay. No me mencionó tampoco. Excuse me? No. Dígame, don Alejandro. No me mencionó. No lo no mencioné. Ajá. Really? Let me see. No. José Alejandro Alvarado Cruz, yes. Present teacher. Yes, yeah, okay. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, remember, we are finishing uh, week number three. Estamos ya terminando la semana tres. Espero que hayan hecho ya el midterm. Necesito poner la nota del midterm exam en los cuadros. Y eh, tan pronto terminen el viernes. Eh, quizá me gustaría poner esas notas ahí porque el día sábado me toca irme tempranito para la U entonces y regreso a tardísimo the whole day ok Esmeralda tell me Esmeralda teacher solo quería corroborar si ya le aparecía hecho mi mi examen porque yo lo hice desde el ah, ok desde ok el... ok hold on a second Prélame un segundito voy a voy a hacerlo ahorita voy a ver eso veamos dónde estamos aquí Okay, let me see where is it. Okay, uh, but check out the this one. Okay, let me let me read this. Okay. okay, let me see.
Okay, give me your name, please. Your name again. Your name. Sonia Esmeralda. Okay, Sonia, 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 Sonia. Let's see in the next page. Sonia Esmeralda. Yes, I got it. I got it. Okay, teacher. Thank I you. I got it. I got it. I got it. Congratulations. You got a good grace. Thank you. Hello? What about me? Sandra. Sandra, uh, yes, you have the same. Uh huh. It called my attention because you had the same grace. <laughs> what? I don't know why. I don't know if you are friends or not. You are a co worker or not. But you had the same grace. Okay. Uh, bueno, me alegra porque ya la mayoría tiene el midterm y eh, tienen buena nota, sí. Déjenme ver el, el, los demás, a ver cómo están. Bueno, ahí me falta todavía Andrés, el Mitchell, Ángel, Brenda, Carlos. Todavía no, no se han hecho el Mitchell exam. Esta semana tenemos que hacerlo. Eh, también me falta a uh, Evelyn. Me falta... Eh, más... Julia y Janet tiene que completarme porque son cuatro partes y creo que solo hizo una. Julia okay. está. Sí, sí. Ok, teacher. Sí. Ok, ahí nos ponemos al día. Desde, desde, desde mañana que haya tiempo ahí van avanzando para que ya el viernes tengamos completo porque me, me gusta tener esos datos para ir entrenando, entregando eso a la otra semana terminando viernes y yo entregando ese cuadro en otros. Si sí, ya la otra semana es la última del módulo, colorín colorado, el módulo se ha terminado. Así, el tiempo ha pasado. Fine. Bueno, al menos yo no lo he sentido, no sé ustedes. Ahora, Okay, I start my info. Um, okay, thank you very much. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. See you. See you. Bye bye. Okay, Katia Maria. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hoy como que le, como que no, no, no le ha estado funcionando mucho ese micrófono. Le he oído entre por... No, sí, tengo que cambiar el, el micrófono. Pero el bien. que estaba usando antes no es el mismo, ¿o sí? No, estamos usando unos audífonos, pero creo que mejor el de la computadora. Ahí sí le oigo mejor, sí. Ok, tell me. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here uh, about any topic that we have already started. No sé si tiene preguntas sobre algún tema que hayamos estudiado. Eh, por ahí saqué. Sí. Ok, tell me. Sí, tenía dos con las W, de, de la WH question. Okay. Eh, Estas sí me cuestan como, como formarlas. Okay. Entonces, eh, sí quería... Eh, Quizás usted dio como una estructura de cómo iban las, las, las preguntas, pero sí quizás me pierdo porque hay unas donde no está el auxiliar, sino que está otra palabra antes. Okay. Entonces, no sé. Ajá, eso quizás un poquito. Ok, Esa fue creo que la de ayer, ¿cierto? Sí, sí, la de ayer.
No, okay. Me dice si es referente a eso. Okay. Entonces, okay. hay una que... Exercise three. Okay. No sé si se refiere a esa estructura. Sí. Okay. Vale. Si ah. revisamos aquí, eh, aquí dice WH word. Esta es la palabra que lleva la WH, que puede ser what, which, where, who, how. Todas esas que llevan WH son las que van al mis. Ojo, aquí eh, puede tener eh, cómo se llama el auxiliar, que es do, pero en este caso, por ejemplo, eh, yo puedo usar como, como otra palabra antes. Aquí, por ejemplo, dice, what sport do you practice? Entonces, antes del auxiliar, eh, también puedo tener otra palabra, pero tranquila, ya les voy a explicar lo que sucede ahí. Que uh -huh. creo que esa es la duda suya. Uh -huh. Vaya, después de eso, aquí yo puedo tener, depende de lo que hay aquí, yo puedo tener do o puedo tener das. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Después okay. el sujeto, el pronombre, que en este caso sería you, y luego el verbo, que sería practice. Por eso dice aquí, what sport do you practice? Bad, pero si, no, si lo vemos aquí, aquí en esta parte, sí ya lo tengo diferente. Ahora, cuando eh, generalmente yo voy a tener aquí el, el dúo, el das? ¿Cuándo? Cuando. Cuando yo me refiero, eh, por ejemplo, aquí dice quién. ¿Sí? O con quién. Who do you play baseball with? ¿Con quién? Con quién. Usted. Y como aquí tengo you, entonces... Por ende, tengo que usar do. Porque se refiere a usted. Entonces, la otra, por ejemplo, dice, where do you play? Entonces, aquí no puedo poner otra palabra. Que, que, eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo le podría explicar esto más fácil? Cuando se refiere a, a otras cosas, yo voy a meterla justo después de la WH. ¿Sí? Ok. Imagínense que, por ejemplo, yo le digo... Uh, ¿Qué clase de música le gusta? ¿Cómo podría yo hacer esa pregunta? Tendría que decir yo... What kind of music do you like? Entonces, ya metí antes... Antes del do, yo metí... ¿Qué clase de música? ¿Sí? No, ok. No entendí. Ok. Hágame un ejemplo. Veamos a ver si sí. Entonces sería... Eh... Ah, quiero ver... Sería como de que, que... Por ejemplo, usted dice, mire, usted le ofrece a un niño eh, tres dulces. Entonces, para preguntarle cuál le gusta, usted le dice, which ah. one do you want? Which one? Which you... one? Ah. ¿Sí? Entonces, ahí usa una palabra que es one. Which one? Que representa los dulces. Generalmente cuando son cosas, entonces es que voy a meter antes algo del do, pero cuando esas personas va a ir directamente. Por ejemplo, when do you practice? Cuando te practica. ¿Sí? 
Sí, creo que ya más o menos. Ok. Bueno, pero si encuentro algo más explícito, por ahí se lo voy a compartir. Ok, ¿cuál sería la otra pregunta? Sí. Quizás la otra sí es con lo de ahora, eh, con lo de las horas. Sí, por eso tuve una, un pequeño, una pequeña emergencia personal y tuve que salir. Y entonces, en ese momento sí no, no, no presté mucha atención. ¿Cómo se decía, cómo decir la, la hora en, el, en la otra forma? Vale, hay dos maneras. Uh -huh. Hay dos formas. Esta creo que es la que no vio usted. Ah, sí, no, esa sí no la vi. Ok, dice, there are two common ways of telling the time. Hay dos formas comunes de decir la hora. La primera sería our first and then the minutes. Decir primero eh, las horas y después los minutos, lo que nosotros hacemos en español. Le dice, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? La 6.25. Entonces lo mismo. It's 6.25. Okay. Uh, it's 8.05. En este caso se usa como 1.0. 8.05. Okay. Aquí oh. explica, the O is set like the letter O. Okay. Si son las 9 y 11, it's 9.11. 2.34 okay. decimos, it's 2.34. Esa es la forma 1. Decir la hora. Tal como nosotros la entendemos aquí. ¿Qué horas tenés? 7.25. 7.25. ¿Sí? Okay. ok. And the next one. Y la siguiente sería así. Decir primero los minutos. Y después las horas. Pero para eso, cuando yo uso minutos. Eh, yo tengo que tener dos cosas claras. Tengo que usar pas Y uso to. Cuando, si este fuese el reloj, yo tendría que tener así lo siguiente. ¿no? Okay. Yo parto el reloj, lo parto en dos. Si este fuese el reloj, lo hago en dos y... Eh, voy a decir la palabra paz la voy a tener a este lado aquí estaría paz uh -huh. porque son los minutos que ya pasaron de las 12 a las 6 y en cambio aquí yo tendría two porque son los minutos que faltan para la siguiente uh -huh. hora si aquí ya pasaron, por ejemplo, si digo 7.15, ya no voy a decir 7.15, voy a decir primero los minutos. Y como el 15 es un... Eh, si yo tengo 15... A quarter. Uh -huh. Ok. 15, you can say 15 after 7. O 15 past. Aquí se puede usar la palabra past o puede usar la palabra after. Y en cambio aquí el two, eso es como quien dice faltan, si fuesen las 8.45, significa que el quarter to nine, un cuarto a las nueve. Entonces por eso se usa two desde el 31 para acá hasta el 59. Y en cambio, este lado, pass. En otras formas, se usa aquí, after and before. Pero ese es menos común. Bueno, por aquí hace una, una, si quiere hacer una captura de esto. Para que le dé. No le voy a ubicar esto aquí. Ok, haga una captura, por favor. Por ahí. ¿Ya lo tiene? 
Sí, de ese sí. Y este. Sí. Okay. Okay, por, ahí voy a, por ahí le voy a compartir un vídeo quizá para porque aquí no puedo compartir ningún vídeo porque no me deja en YouTube subirlo porque ya tienen derecho de autor para okay. en el WhatsApp sí lo puedo hacer para clarificarles un poco más eso de las horas bueno ya no si ya no tienen otra pregunta muchas gracias por su tiempo y, gracias a usted okay and I hope to see you tomorrow See you later. Okay. Thank you.